I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a star UTC wrestler has been expelled after school officials found him guilty of sexual misconduct. Corey Mock's attorney, Jeff Rufolo, says his client was accused of having sex with another student without her consent. Since that incident last spring, he was suspended from the athletic department. Mock was a senior and a nationally ranked wrestler. He previously wrestled at UNC Chapel Hill, where his father is the program's head coach. The UTC case was handled by the university's judicial system and ruled on by a professor instead of a judge. No criminal charges have been filed. Chattanooga police are investigating a stabbing that happened early this morning. Police say it happened around 3 a.m. at a house on Fern Street. One man was taken to the hospital. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. We'll have more details as they develop at timesfreepress.com. The cause of a double school bus crash in Knoxville Tuesday remains unclear. However, the three people killed in the crash have been identified. Six-year-old Zykia Burns and seven-year-old Soraya Glasper both attended Sunnyside Primary School. A teacher's aide, 46-year-old Kimberly Riddle, also died in the crash. She was a youth pastor and a mother of two. Police have interviewed both bus drivers. Federal investigators will inspect the two buses today. Police say an attempted murder suspect pulled kids out of a house before he began shooting. 24-year-old Lamont Patterson reportedly rushed into the home of his children's mother on Friday. Tequila Watkins told police he sent her two children, ages 3 and 6, out of the house before he grabbed her by the hair and began searching. When he found another man, Henry Bennett, in a bedroom, he became convinced the two had been sleeping together. Watkins told police Patterson repeatedly hit her in the head with a gun. Bennett was shot at least four times in the legs and groin. He's expected to survive. Patterson was charged with first-degree murder, aggravated assault, burglary, and possession of crack cocaine. He remains in custody at the Howland County Jail. Chattanooga police have identified the body of a white man found near King's Lodge. The body was identified as that of 40-year-old Timothy Bryson. Bryson had been arrested in 2011 for being a fugitive from Walker County. A utility worker found his body on Westside Drive November 12th. Police say there is no sign of foul play. His cause of death is pending the results of an autopsy. A Chattanooga-based carpet company is changing the name of one of its top brands, and understandably so. Three years ago, when Propex launched a new product in the growing carpet tile market, it christened the brand Isis after the Egyptian goddess known for teaching women how to weave. But since then, Isis has taken on a reputation as the identity of Islamic terrorists at war with America. Now Propex is relabeling its product as Artis, the Latin term for artistic. The company says it spent a lot of time and resources to promote the ISIS brand, but changing it was just the right thing to do. Finally, Bill Haslam's approval rating has hit a new high. The Tennessee governor earned a rating of 70% in the latest poll from Vanderbilt University. Poll coordinators say politicians love to get an approval rating that's over 50%. In the new poll, 57% of Democrats approved of the job Haslam is doing, and 86% of Republicans approved. Meanwhile, other Republican governors, including Chris Christie and Bobby Jindal, are failing to get over 50% in recent polls. Turning to weather, today will be cloudy with a high near 65 degrees. The low tonight will be around 49. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.